It is the touchline here on Y254. We are still hanging out with all the people who make sports matter here in the country. And here on the touchline is where we get you to give that information. And joining us for the last interview for the touchline is Mr. Moses Mbuthia, who is actually the Beach Volleyball Federation of Kenya Chairman, Beach Volleyball Commission Chairman here in the country. Mr. Mbuthia, welcome to the touchline on Y254. How are you doing? Thank you. Yeah. I've already touched it. I think yes. this is my second time here. <laughs> yes. I must say here, you guys, you're doing very well. Yeah. Yes. I understand you are coming from uh, sending a team to Arusha yes. that is supposed to compete at the Nyerere. we had a very good meeting with yeah. the commandant of GSU who mm -hmm. was preparing his team to leave for Arusha where they are participating in uh, Julius Nyerere Memorial Tournament mm -hmm. in Arusha, one yes. of the northern circuits. Mm -hmm. where we have a lot of tourism mm -hmm. and uh, this morning we have just sent off the DCI team mm -hmm. and uh, I mean uh, the, the team manager and the coach yes they are now leaving for Arusha remember it's um, a four or five hours drive and yes. I think now they are they are near the border right now uh -huh. so they are in for that tournament remember we have been off season purely because uh, our team was in Netherlands, yes. and that's why you've not seen a lot of activities take shape. Mm -hmm. But of course, there is Mita team going on, and mm -hmm. Gidurai, and mm -hmm. Nemet, and uh, Volleyball mm -hmm. is still flying. The, the, uh, after the team that uh, came from Netherlands, uh, Volleyball, the Malikia Strikers, what, what do you make of their performance? Well, uh, in a nutshell, we mm -hmm. must say that our girls did very well. I had a chance of meeting them at the airport, and I was yes. able to interview some of them one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. Though they were very tired because they've been out for three months yes. in a foreign land. I think mm -hmm. they have uh, consumed the foreign food and, and uh, when they came back now, mm -hmm. they were looking like foreigners. But yes. said and done, mm -hmm. they were able to play a number of friendly matches in uh, Brazil, mm -hmm. Zambia, not yes. Zambia. Yes. And thereafter, <laughs> they went to Netherlands, the yes. land that they keep saying that mm -hmm. God made earth, mm -hmm. but a man made Netherlands. Mm -hmm. yes. Because the land is under sea level. Mm -hmm. So our girls didn't play quite well because... Um, Maybe they were under sea level and mm -hmm. they used to be above sea level. Yes. Uh, but said and done, I think it was a very nice experience being the only two teams in Africa, Cameroon and Kenya. Yeah. So we are now playing the game of uh, the, the, the big boys. Mm -hmm. Though we didn't do very well, we can yeah. count ourselves among the, the, the class of the big girls, if not big boys. Yeah, the, the question will be the lessons that they, the country picked from there. Experience, they say, is the best mother. And I yes. think now these girls are more experienced. And out of uh, that exposure, mm -hmm. our two girls have already been picked. One is going to play in uh, Turkey, and uh -huh. that is Veronica Adiambo. Yes. And uh, the captain, uh, mm -hmm. that is... Uh, um, the lady that I'm going to remember the name very soon. She's a uh, house, household name, no? Yeah. Um, the lady, um, I'll give you the name. She has also gotten uh, a contract uh, in a foreign land. Yes. And before the end of the show, I'll give you the name because that has just slipped on my, my head. Sharon so, Jopchum. Uh, Sharon, yes. Sharon, no. <laughs> you are already ahead of me. Yes. Uh, she has already picked up uh, a major contract. Yes. In, I um, think, uh, not Turkey, but uh, in um, the, 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 the land of... Uh, the Greek man, I mean, uh, the, the Greece. Greece. So we have uh, quite a number of, uh, had it not been for yes. the participation of mm -hmm. these young girls mm -hmm. in that championship, we yeah. would not have had uh -huh. them uh, getting a chance to go and play professional volleyball yeah. outside Africa. It's still volleyball, but for you, you also have another angle in volleyball because you are the chairman of the Beach Volleyball Commission. Yes. Give us a brief background of Beach when Volleyball in Kenya. When I took over as the chairman in, uh, in 2018, we've yes. been able to revolutionize this game. And I want to thank my committee, headed by uh, myself and uh, Mr. Moringe, who is also the coach of KPA, Mr. Yes. Owino, Madam Sari, and uh, Madam Rutich. <laughs> we sat down and said, what do you want to achieve? And when we came out with our strategic plan, it has worked very well. One, mm -hmm. we've been able to take silver medal in Africa. Yes. yes. Uh, we were able to get um, the ticket to world champ. I mean, not world championship, but first Olympic. Olympics. Our girls qualified for Olympics. Mm -hmm. We were also able to get a world uh, ticket to world championship, where I took the girls in uh, Italy, uh, Rome. Yes. And um, other than that, we participated in Africa in Nyerere Cup. Mm -hmm. Our girls just came the other day from Tanzania, where they won a gold. <laughs> And I want also to thank the girls because they have been able to follow our calendar to the letter and they are also very disciplined. Mm -hmm. And um, this has made it possible. Other than that, we have been able to establish a number of uh, beach courts in the country. Yes. For example, in Nyandarua alone, we have more than six beach courts. Oh, I must wow. thank the, form, the outgoing member of parliament, Daragua, that is the Honorable uh, Kioni, <laughs> who was able to use his CDF 
yes. to set up beach courts in uh, Daragua. Six mm -hmm. of them. Yeah. Uh, one in Rishao Secondary School, Shamata Secondary School, Wangu Secondary School, um, the, I mean, uh, Hafsi Daragua, and also we have uh, another one in Kangui. Mm -hmm. All of them, mm -hmm. they are operational. And yes. for your information, the team that made it to the Nationals, that is Kamba High School, mm -hmm. made it because the very many boys who were using the sun, mm -hmm. they had already built some stamina, and they were able to play this convectional volleyball, and they made it to the National. Yeah. Other than uh, Nyandarwa, we have uh, beach courts in uh, Bita, that is in um, Homa Bay. Homa Bay, yes. We have uh, them in uh, Ngode Island. We have them in... Uh, uh, we have them along the, 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 the Lake Victoria, that yes. is in Fangano, mm -hmm. and uh, in uh, what we call the Bita, uh, Bita Hotel, Point. Yes. Uh, Bita Point Hotel, mm -hmm. owned by Wakiaga. Yes. He was able to establish a number of beach courts there. Mombasa, uh -huh. I just landed yesterday, yes. and we opened another beach court in mm -hmm. the northern part of, uh, um, I mean, uh, I mean the, south, the southern part of Kilifi, uh -huh. just near the bridge of, uh, of um, uh, Mtuapa. Yes. There is the clique. Mm -hmm. moving up upward and uh, along there there's a gentleman by the name karaoke mm -hmm. karaoke used to be the government spokesperson yes in one of his private hotel he has uh, opened uh, an area where we can set up a beach uh, beach court there yeah. are a thousand and one mr kibuda kibwana did establish one yes in mcqueni along the river kaiti yes and uh in trokana with the help of uh, ekwethuro mm -hmm. we were able to set up um, a beach court in uh, the shores of like uh, uh, Turukan. Um, Turukana. Yes. We used to call it uh, those days. Like, uh, was it uh, uh, Lake Rudolf? Yes. I was almost saying Lake <laughs> Rudolf. So in a nutshell, we've yes. been able to establish a number of courts. Yeah. When we had a chance to go to uh, Italy, we also realized that we've been using the wrong equipment, particularly uh -huh. the ball. Yes. So we were advised by one gentleman who mm -hmm. trains a beach uh, 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 volleyball in, uh, in um, Italy mm -hmm. by the name John Dungu. Mm -hmm. Dungu was able to take us to the sports stations there and we were able to get the right equipment. As we are talking, yeah. we are using the right equipment. As a matter of time, mm -hmm. lady for Pali 2024. Uh, what I'm getting from you is that there's a bit of inclusion between the private sector and the schools. Because when you talk about in Daragua, mm -hmm. there are six to eight beach volleyball pitches there for the schools. Yes. And you have talked about other private people coming in to yes. build that. Yes. Is that the way forward on how to grow Beach the game in Kenya? It's is more or less like uh, a sports tourism. And uh, <laughs> yes. we realize that the hotel industry taps mm -hmm. a lot from this one. Yeah. Just here in Paradise Roast, the owner of Paradise Roast has said he's going to establish a beach, a beach court. Yes. And uh, Tamarine Hotel uh -huh. said he does, because that's where the volleyball originated. Yes. That time it was called Sprat. Uh -huh. And uh, they are led to establish uh, I mean, a beach court. In a nutshell, just to yeah. answer your question directly, yeah. this is, uh, can work both pri uh, private and public. Yes. And uh, in countries like uh, Morocco, we mm -hmm. realize that we do not have private beaches. They are all <laughs> owned by Wananchi. Yeah. So in this context, uh, now we are happy that the private owners mm -hmm. and uh, the public, I mean, the public beaches, few that we have, yeah. are being used. I will give you another example of a Pride Inn Hotel, which has mm -hmm. really hosted our girls yes. as they are preparing for both Birmingham. Mm -hmm. That is uh, Commonwealth Games, yes. which I think when God willing, mm -hmm. we shall have an independent body that mm -hmm. will man mm -hmm. the Commonwealth Games, yes. which will make it better mm -hmm. because the programs will be very many. Yes. yes. Talking about the programs that uh, are coming up, you also talked about uh, the circuit that is supposed to be coming up. T talk, uh, tell us about we that. We have almost finished with our year 2022 circuit. We have one remaining because we're waiting for these girls from... Uh, from uh, from uh, Netherlands mm -hmm. and um, Buena Moringe and uh, Buena Wino, they'll sit down and draw a calendar. Yes. I want to say at this point in time, we're also looking for sponsors. And uh, fortunately, we were able to talk to DT Dobi. Yes. And uh, DT Dobi might be coming in on board to help mm -hmm. us um, uh, start of uh, a beach. Uh, I mean, uh, a beach circuit, mm -hmm. most likely in yeah. Mombasa. Yes. And I would will wish that any other person who has uh, an opportunity like this one, we have had been uh, cases of. Uh, uh, deep hits sponsoring yes. a whole event. Uh -huh. We have had a case of Ministry of Tourism yes. sponsoring a whole event in Kware. Yeah. So anybody willing, and because it's a very, it's a good game that is attracting very many, uh, very many clientele, and um, I don't want to say why, but yeah. there is a reason. <laughs> That's a very good one for you. But when we usually come, when we're talking about money, yes. so here in the country, it also comes in with the, the government angle, mm. and uh, this time round. Uh, the, the former CS is done, now we are 
the nominee for the sports ministry now is uh, Ababu Namwamba, yes. the nominee for sports. What is your take about Ababu coming Ababu in? Ababu Namwamba has one advantage, one is age. Yes. He has an age, uh, I'm not saying that some of us who are old, we have no advantage. <laughs> yes. um, one, one time he was in that ministry, just like yes. your program here, uh, Touchline. He yes. touched the ministry <laughs> yes. of uh, sports. So, yeah. And now he's back. Mm -hmm. I hope now he'll not just touch it, but he'll mm -hmm. work on uh, some of the issues they are in. Mm -hmm. Take for example, yeah. uh, football is in the dual drum. Because yes. we don't have a federation. Yeah. We cannot sign our young ones in, the, in Europe and then name it. Yeah. And so I expect on his tray to check on how to streamline that area and have the federation back on track, yes. whether new one or the old mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Then swimming. Swimming, yes. they are mm -hmm. again uh, uh, wheel pulls, if not dual drums. Mm -hmm. We expect swimming again to be put on track. Yeah. Uh, we have a badminton. Yes. Badminton has also been banned by mm -hmm. the, the world body. Mm -hmm. All these federations should be put back on track. Mm -hmm. And that should be his responsibility. I've just said yeah. he's a gentleman. One thing, he's a, he's a lawyer. He understands all the chemistry in uh, matters of uh, sports policy. Yeah. Because he participated in uh, the establishment of the Sports Act. Yes. And I think he would not like to see that Sports uh, Act go to the drain. Yes. Yet he's one of the pioneers. Yeah. that project talking about now if you narrow in to beach volleyball yes. what do you want from the government i want the government to support these young ones men and women of this country because as we're talking now we are number one in africa uh -huh, yes uh men we're number six in africa mm -hmm. going by the, 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 the qualification for olympics yes and uh, we should not get any position below what we have if anything for yeah. the girls they should go for negative one and for <laughs> men they should go for position one yes and uh, this can only happen if you have a number of uh, activities taking place. Mm -hmm. And uh, the good thing is uh, a team of two, team of four, team of six yeah. can be able to spawn, be sponsored with a very minimal mm -hmm. expense, so to speak. Yes. And uh, this will help us uh, nurture these young ones. Mm -hmm. We also want to start from zero in terms of uh, not transferring those who are in convection of volleyball into mm -hmm. beach volleyball. Yes. We would like now primary school mm -hmm. to take shape. And I am also pleading with the Ministry of Education, and particularly the secondary school, uh -huh. to bring in beach volleyball on board. And uh, once this one is um, done, I yeah. can tell you, because mm -hmm. the Kenya Secondary School Sports Association has mm -hmm. already slotted in the three-on-three three, uh, three three, uh, basketball. basketball yes. Why should we not have a beach volleyball? Well, mm -hmm. we have two. Three-on-three, yes. three, they have three. So we should <laughs> yes. have started with two. <laughs> yes. And uh, that way, we shall be able to say uh, in 2024 or 2028 Olympics, we have yeah. very many teams participating in Olympics. Talking of the journey to the 2024 Olympics, yeah. how is the beach volleyball journey so far going? Unlike the other convection of volleyball where you have to win a continental championship, yes. in beach volleyball, you start earning points now. Uh -huh. We have yes. what we call homologated tours. Yes. Anytime you participate <laughs> in a, a tournament, <laughs> you earn points. Okay. And all these points are put together. <laughs> that is how we earned ourselves a ticket to uh, Rome, Italy. Yes. Because we were number three, but <laughs> we got a slot in um, uh, common, I mean, uh, world championship. Yes. Because of what we have done in the past. Uh -huh. So the future depends on sacrifice made in the past. Yes. So we sacrifice in beach volleyball. <laughs> you have to participate in all championship yeah. for you to qualify for Olympics, yes. world championship, mm -hmm. commonwealth, yeah. name them. Well, that's one of the best things that we have for you, for Mr. Mbuda, bringing these talents here in the country. The question will be, two players in uh, beach volleyball, how do you pick the best of the best in beach volleyball? We use, uh, I don't know whether you did a bit of chemistry, <laughs> where you did a bit of a decantation, yes. where you separate the best and uh, come up with the best. You let them settle. So this one here, you filter and get the best. Yeah. And it is through that, because we don't believe in corruption, yes. that you use the table to get the best person in terms of points. Yeah. Then you select without yes. any corruption whatsoever. That way, yeah. you sleep happy. Because there exists a supernatural uh, high court yes. of conscience. Uh -huh. When you sleep knowing very well that you have put, uh, I mean, uh, a player A because mm -hmm. you are a friend, yes. then you don't sleep happy. Uh, you, you, your final word will be, no, before you talk about your final word, I would like to know the teams that you have sent to Arusha, the teams that uh, are in Mbita and everything, what do you expect from them? Well, I did mention that apart from Bita and Arusha, we also have a, uh, we lost a referee, one of the top referees uh -huh. yes. in just uh, concluded um, uh, league. 
at yes. Nyao Stadium. The gentleman was going home and he was yes. hit by a motorbike. Yes. And we just buried him the other day. That is uh, Mr. Watera. Mm -hmm. We have uh, um, a tournament in, uh, in memory of Watera that will be at JK Watt mm -hmm. and later one in Moranga. Mm -hmm. So all these activities are geared towards promoting volleyball. Yes. And I hope uh, the, um, the few chairmen will come in on board and help uh, this one too. We also expect to have a major event in Nairobi mm -hmm. where we have um, a clinic for the coaches, yes. beach volleyball, mm -hmm. and also the league uh, yeah, Sablon mm -hmm. starting off. Hopefully, yes. that we used to have a sponsorship by the Johnson & Johnson mm -hmm. and we were negotiating and getting that uh, sponsorship uh, back. Mm -hmm. And that way we shall be able to have everybody engaged as we also wait for the exam for those young ones mm -hmm. who are in Form 4. The question now finally is your final word here on the touchline. If you are out there, young or old, play beach volleyball and you will go places. Yeah. That's what I can tell you. That <laughs> this is the game of the future uh, where everybody participates, old, young, and name them. Because you also go to the beaches, play beach volleyball. Thanks a lot, Mr. Mbudia, for making it here on the touchline. We have been talking to the chairman of the Kenya Beach Volleyball Commission, Mr. Moses Mbudia, here in studio. I'm Robert Osoro. For everyone who has made this broadcast a success, we say good afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your viewing here on the touchline and Y254. Thank you.